Yes. So as usual, we have our schedule. It should say everything we're doing. Uh, if we go down to day two, we begin with about clusters and your work. I will also <clears throat> quickly mention that uh, uh, public service announcement. Remember to put the stream to maximum resolution if you uh, if it's not already yeah. there, so that uh, any text will appear as crisp as possible. Yeah, but we will mostly talk without and look at pretty pictures, but there's text some <laughs> sometimes as well. Yeah. Okay, so yesterday we talked a lot about basic concepts of scientific computing, like where you can store your data, who we are, how to ask for help, things like that. Now we get to the real stuff. The general plan is that today we go into basics. So what is the cluster? What are resources? How to request them? And so on. We get to some of the interesting parallel and GPU stuff tomorrow. But because a cluster is easy to use if you're familiar with the command line Linux, things like that, and hard if not, we're, t we're going nice and slow today in order to make sure that everyone can keep up and we have this good, solid background. Um, so yeah, uh, what's a cluster? Yeah, so uh, if we think about the cluster, it's basically like a bunch of computers in a trench coat. So it's like, a, <laughs> uh, yeah. well, it, but it's also a bit more than that. So, so a cluster is, is a compute, like basically a big system that com has many features in it. So what we, what we usually have in the cluster is that we first off have a lot of computers there that are meant for computing. So in this diagram that you can see, uh, we have the CPU nodes. Like that is the main thing of the cluster, really. We have a lot of hardware there that can be used for computing. There's also specialized hardware like the GPU nodes that are uh, like that have GPU cards that are used for GPU computing. Mm -hmm. um, and then usually a cluster has a file system as well. So it's own file system, which is connected to these nodes in some fast lane so that you can have uh, big data flowing into the CPU nodes and the GPU nodes. Yeah. Uh, and then, so yeah. So how big is our cluster, just as a reference? So the one at Alta so, University. So R is like a like a medium size, maybe a medium small, like medium in Finland, small in 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 yeah. uh, in in like international scale. Yeah. But like we have a lot lot smaller clusters in uh, like uh, some other universities might have a smaller cluster. Yeah. And for example, the CSC supercomputers, they are a lot bigger. But in our case, it's, well, I don't know, actually remember the numbers, like a few hundred nodes. Yeah, I think it's like all the order of 300-ish. And yeah, and maybe, maybe a few hundred GPUs. Yeah, a few so... hundred GPUs, 10,000 processors roughly, last mm -hmm. I remembered. Yeah, you like, but you can so, already hear from what what I'm describing yeah. here that the the cluster. What is important about the cluster is not necessarily how much there is on the back end or something. It's how you're going to be using it, and mm -hmm. and you're going to be using it through these login systems like login node yeah. or the on demand. So and then we will talk about how you get access to the resources later on, but. For me, at least personally, it's more of like that I know that there's just resources there. I just need to be able to use them, but it doesn't really matter where they, they come from. They, they are there on the background and they are like, there is a way of inter or getting those resources. And we'll talk about that uh, soon. But yeah. basically there is just a bunch of computers and those computers are connected to each other with a fast network and there's a, mm -hmm. a storage space for your yeah. play, like data. And then it, you can use those computers using certain things that we'll be yeah. talking about. Well, so about our own cluster at Aldo University, it was completely upgraded and reinstalled, well, a month ago. 
and everything has changed. So many of the things you might read might be out of date. We're trying to update them or add warnings there, but just be aware that things are different now. And we'll talk more about this later. The final thing on this page is asking for help. So it is really hard to go and do everything alone, especially when you're starting. So do read about getting help and come to your local support early if you need it. Don't struggle forever. And with that, I think we can go on from this page. Yes.